I'm not going to attach this leg. Yeah, so we're getting, we're getting close to it. But I think this is going to be better. And this may be shorter than we need today. But it's easy for me to pull it out. backwards and keep the knee straight. This knee, now it's in safety mode right now, so it's not doing anything. It's not even attached. But um, we haven't programmed anything, and so if it goes out of power, for example, it'll go into a safety mode, which means it'll just become really stiff. And at this point, we haven't even put any settings in it. So, um, but when we walk, we, we propel ourselves by hitting heel strike and then pulling Cross. We do that with our glutes and our hamstrings. It comes more natural. We don't have to think about it. This is when you have to think about it. Okay. This knee, <clears throat> I call it. I call it floats. Um, what that means is that if you just put your weight on it, it's it's gonna it's gonna collapse under your weight. Okay. Gotcha. That's part of what gives it the capabilities to bowl, play golf, you know, these things that you want to do again, because if it doesn't float, most of the other knees have some, you know, friction or something like that, but they, they either float or they lock. So if they're locked, you have to unlock it by walking. Okay. If it's a, what I call a set of floater, then it's got stability built in, but it's got a friction or hydraulic control, it means it's going to probably move under you some, and part of your job is to just get used to, you know, okay. keeping it up on you. Um, and then I'll be able to explain to you further more about how the knee functions for you to do, you know, the stuff you, you want to do. So sit down for me for just a second. Let's raise it. Let's raise it. We've got to get some kind of padding in between things. <laughs> You'll get, it'll get better on, you know, and we can adjust some of that. Okay. Um, the trim lines that I had, of course, I'll tell you that I always, I wrote all over your socket, <laughs> do not change trim lines. And of course, they, I told them they'll put it back how they want it. That's what they did. So we'll have some flexibility to, you know, change some of that. So let's do this, um, even though it's nothing set up or anything. Go ahead and grab the rails and take some steps. Okay. See how it floats? Uh -huh. Yeah, so try to keep it up under you. Flex your hamstrings and your glutes when you're taking your step. Yeah. 
that's riding right in the middle. Stand like that for a second, let me just hang it nice and straight. Now, like I said, don't let that leg drift under you. Yeah, where are your hips? <laughs> yeah, it's probably more toward a half inch. You can pull it out a little bit. Right. Um, why don't you head back down that, that way? We'll miss it. So, see how it's floating on you? Yeah. Yeah, you got to pull that hamstring in the We haven't given it anything yet, so we'll do some flexion you know, resistance. <clears throat> but it's still going to try to drift on you if, you, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, so you have to try to, when you're walking across, keep it from buckling, so to speak. I said, when I program it, I'll help you with some of that, which we'll do that in just a second. <coughs> Let's give you a little bit more length. Okay. And then what I'll do too is maybe just take the whole socket this time, everything. Um, I'll adjust your in the medial side there. Okay. Um, and then I'll we'll bring the computer in and give you some help. The good news is we're getting a little extra room here. So um, potentially might be able to put uh, if we'll make the other foot, we might at least be able to put the rotator in there for you. Okay. Close, I'll shorten it about an eighth. Okay. We'll meet it in the middle. I'm going to hook everything up and uh, let's do some programming so we can okay. start walking. And I'll also take that medial shelf down a little bit. All right. See, your check sockets didn't have that. And they bring that frame up real high, which I ask them every time I can bring your check socket. And I said, leave my. They really don't. wonder why. Well, you... I just learned to. You know, this socket, um, it's their design. You know, I know guys that try to replicate this in their offices and all. I can't make this thing look like this. I mean, I can't. And, uh, but I send it to the company that developed it, you know, but they also they like to do it their way. Do their way, that's right. So, um, you got to take your shorts off and kind of get it off. I don't know, we can try. Okay, so all you do is pop the pin, and then it'll get it on the edge. All right, there you go. So normally if your shorts, you know, and you're just getting out 
time just to hang out for a while on the couch. I mean, you don't have to come all the way out of it. In 15 minutes, you're going to be putting it back on. Just pull the leg off and it's against yeah. the wall. You know? cool. um, so what I'm going to do, is this where you're getting it? Yeah, it's kind of right in there. Okay. Yeah, the little section right there. So we'll drop, <clears throat> I'm going to drop the frame in there. I, I, don't, I don't know why they insist on having it so high. So we'll, I'm going to drop that down right now. Okay. Give you some, a little bit more room. Um, you know, to keep everything fairly high. Like I said, it's, I, I ask them to, I don't start taking material off, you know, until I start fitting with you. Um, I'm going to hook up the foot, get into it, and okay. I'll bring it in and we'll program. Cool. Okay. Um, I think we'll, I think we're, you know, I think we'll probably have enough room. I need an inch, maybe just a tad bit more, which looks like about what we have to put the, the rotator in here. Okay. Um, let's get you programmed and all, and we can see. Okay. I'm, I'm, I need more for the foot, and I just don't think we have the room. Um, but if I can get the rotator in there. Uh, but let's, let's get kind of 90% and then I'll see if I can slide that in for you. Okay. Um, it's pretty neat. I mean, I really would like to have one of them. And if we get the rotator in there, I still think it will help you with work and driving and just being in the car and, I mean, you know, um, tight spaces if you're working on that kind of thing. So, I mean, this probably take me, me, me 15 minutes. Um, I've got to come in here and grind all that off and um, hook the foot up and then go ahead and get the programming started. Okay. Um, and then I'll be back. Okay, all right.